So today we are going to fly to Great Barrier Island. That will never get old. This is something that he's put his heart and soul into. A long, long project. Basically 40 years in the making. This thing's sweet. Look at this view. This is the epitome of the Great Barrier Way. Hundred dollars. Whoa. You bad. Are you kidding me? They're all around us. Not every day you see killer whales. We're so blessed to have people come on board. We're blessed to live the life that we do. We're so lucky to be doing this. I'm with Hurricane Irma. Boats toss. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a Hurricane Damage Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So today we are going to fly to Great Barrier Island. It's an island off the coast of Auckland. Um, that's where my family live now. We've had land out there for like 40 years, but now they're all living out there permanently. So we're gonna fly out there. My sister's coming home soon. She's been in Bali. I haven't seen her for a long time, but she has visited Palais a couple of times. So it hasn't been as long not seeing her as the rest of my family. Is back. Yay! Let's go. In the six long years that I had been away from home, my family had relocated to live permanently on Great Barrier Island from our childhood home in West Auckland. It was the first time I was going to see the house actually completed and it had literally taken 40 years to get to where it is today. An absolute labour of love for my dad, for him and mum to retire on the island we had been coming to every year for as long as I can remember. Great Barrier Island is 60 nautical miles northeast of Auckland, but we never had the luxury of flying there as kids. We are coming down the driveway. So getting here is an absolute breeze compared to the long hard slog we used to have to do in the old ferry or the barge. Home. home. You're home. Now even the family cat gets to fly back and forth from Auckland. Here we are. Six years ago, dad was building that house with my brother and I came and helped for three months. Would you look at that? That will never get old. <sighs> so dad bought this before I was even born. Just this section, 50 acres. It was all thick bush, so I had to come in here with a machete and try find where to build and he found this place to start developing. I've shown you our houses, the one in Auckland and the one here a little bit, so it may be easy to observe that um, my family might be quite wealthy and we've bought these big old fancy houses and, um, you know, everything's sort of come easy for us, but that's not the case. My dad's a builder and uh, he's never overextended himself, so he always just sort of does one house at a time with a small group of guys and we were never rich at all. And when we were kids, he built the cottage over there. And so our, in our holidays, we would come over here and all of us would stay in that little cottage. And there's no electricity here, as you know. So we'd have dinner by candlelight and uh, we'd go wash in the, in the creek that runs through the property here. Those were our holidays. When we all left home, dad decided that he would build this house as sort of the family house. I sure have an appreciation for it. And. Uh, this is definitely not something that you can just go out and buy. This is something that he's put his heart and soul into. The amount of labor and time that's gone into this to get it to the stage has been phenomenal. And he had to keep going back, working in Auckland, earn some more money and then put, put a little bit more into this house. He'd come and like build a garage, go back, come back, put the roof on, go back. So this has been a long, long project. Basically 40 years in the making. I burned out like a wandering ember. I shone bright and my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter Storm, I'm coming on. 
I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home And I can relate to that a lot when uh, we cruise around on Parlay now, you know, that, that boat's worth about half a million dollars, but that's definitely not, not what I paid for it. I had to work 12 years on super yachts as a chief engineer to afford a hurricane damage version of that boat. And you all know how much time and effort we put into that. So it's easy to sort of judge a book by its cover, but if you uh, delve into the story behind it, there's uh, a lot of blood, sweat and tears have gone into this house and also Parlay. He's over 70 years old and he's still building things. This is going to be a big shed for his truck and his digger and stuff. Just never ends. So like I said, this island's completely off grid. So, and there's not much sun and the solar can't keep up. We've got this old generator here. Cranks up. Still does the trick, but man, she's old. That's what powers the house when there's no solar. Okay, so I've just walked halfway down the driveway and this is where we have the creek running through the property and at the top end of the creek, right up in the hills there that's where we get the fresh water from so that comes down to a big um, 10,000 litre tank and that's what supplies the houses and whatnot. so the water that we drink here is pure spring water from the top of the hill here it doesn't get much better than that but to do the driveway Dad had to figure out how to get over the creek so he filled all this area here in and built a bridge just taught himself how to build a bridge so he framed it all up and uh, I remember coming over as a small kid and um, bringing all these big boulders in here with the digger and trying to build this bridge and build these walls and stuff it was insane it was really cool to see that as a kid but now we've got an awesome bridge over the creek walk down to the chalet. I've never seen this place, but Dad built it pretty much for you, right? Well, you know. <laughs> this thing's sweet. Outdoor shower. It needs decor. Look at this view. He's a native New Zealand tree, it's called Kauri. All right, we're gonna go down to the bay. On the quad. Quad life. Here he is. So this is like a communal boat ship. One of our neighbors built this for everyone. Huh, lovely. Look at this, there's a little booklet here. Yardmaster's boat shed. This is the epitome of the Great Barrier Way. It's kind of like just communal. So one of the neighbors has just built this place and everyone's kind of like donated bits and pieces for the community to use. That is wild. Alright guys, I'm going to make a little fire and then just chill with the family, enjoy this moment. I haven't seen this place finished six years ago, it was, we'd just finished roofing it and all of the inside wasn't done yet so this is all so exciting for me but it's good to be home. My brother just rang me and he said it's pumping. So I'm gonna go grab his board and get out there. Hope this is worth it. It's always worth it. And after that, my brother's name's Malcolm. So me and Malcolm are gonna go play golf at the Great Barrier Island Golf Club. Okay. It's under his house somewhere. It's my old board too. Let's go. As you're driving along on the road. Everyone literally waves to each other. It's quite a big island, it's like 60 kilometers long, I think, but everyone's quite spread out. Definitely an amazing community to be a part of. Let's see what the surf's doing. There we go. There's waves. We've seen enough. We're doing it. A couple of the old boys that I used to know years ago down here, about to jump in as well. Yeah! Freezing! Holy crap! 
Can't even move my hands. All right, let's see what my brother's doing. Can't even move my fingers to text. Here we are at the Great Barrier Golf Club. Me and Malky get pretty competitive <laughs> when we play sports, so we're pretty calm right now, but <laughs> you wait till one of us pulls ahead. No pressure. What's the wager? Hundred dollars! Wait, so you give me five shots for the rest of the course. Hundred dollars. <laughs> New Zealand. Oh, there it is. Par three. Got a hole in one on this hole. My name's actually up on the up on the hall here. How many trees did I hit before it went in? Ten trees. In the hole. Hole in one, baby. It's hit trees. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Here we go, last hole. I gotta beat him by one shot. Come on, baby. Not my day. Hi, you <laughs> The new golf star. Now, what are we doing? Sailing, baby. We're sailing, baby. What are we sailing? Lasers, baby. Lasers, baby. <laughs> That's where we are. We'll sail down here, get used to it. And we'll start down here. That's Bird Rock, a rock in the middle of the ocean. Port side down, port side, and finish up there. That's so it, one lap. Yeah. You can use your mouth. Like that. The old backhand. Yeah. There's a lot to it. There's there's bangs and Cunninghams and outhauls and stuff that you're always adjusting apparently. This isn't it's different on a big boat. So they're giving me and uh, Victor a five minute head start. Let's see how we go. Okay, we're about to start. Come around. Jesus. Where's the mark, bro? All right, he's tacked, so I'm gonna tack. There we go, I gotta come under here. Come on, Cray. Now look where he is. And these guys are gaining on me hard. I'm sheeted all the way out. My outhaul's slack. We're going straight downwind and they're still catching me. There we go, race just finished. They all just took me right at the end here. What a cool way to sail. So much harder to sail these. So many moving parts. If you haven't sailed a laser before, get out there, give it a crack. It's so much fun. Morning everyone. Fishing trip today. Take my brother's boat out. This is my brother's building company, the building group. group. Started a few years ago and he's doing really well now. He's got a few employees and business is booming. So many people are building houses over there that there's just no shortage of work. So living the good life. Now he's got the baby. So happy for him because it's very different to how my life is, but both can be seen as successful in one way or another. Hasn't started in a long time, so we're just gonna dip the engine in, see if she'll fire up. Just missed the high tide, the high high tide. So we hit the driver's truck into the to the ocean. We're off. What a day. Would you look at this spot? We've got it all to ourselves. The girls are gonna stay on the beach with Levi. Hang out. We're gonna go try catch a fish for lunch. Let's go. Not a bad one. That's my one. One thing that has not changed in all the years that we've been coming here are the delicious snapper we can catch almost anywhere around the island. This is the main source of protein for everyone living here because the food is so expensive to get shipped out here. <laughs> Don't <me> do that. <laughs> New Zealand has strict quota rules for catching fish, which makes it so sustainable for generations to come, which is just the way it should be everywhere in the world. Whoa. You bad. Levi, we got fish. Levi, you little fatty. It's not 
way home and we just saw killer whales straight ahead. Are you kidding me? They're all around us. They came right up to us and then they just spun around and they're just swimming off our bow. Oh my god. What? Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. Not every day you see killer whales. Hey guys, so I'm at Auckland Airport. I have to fly to LA. It has been an incredible two weeks, but two weeks just wasn't really enough. Just the last few days I've been driving around like a madman, just catching up with friends and whatnot. And we've realized that I'm the only one out of my close friends group that doesn't have kids. I don't think one way of life is better than the other necessarily, but they definitely both have their pros and cons. And uh, seeing all my friends and, and my brother with families and children and stuff, it's made me, um, I don't know. The grass is always greener, isn't it? But I am living my dream. And that's the sort of sacrifice I've had to make. I um, live a very nomadic lifestyle and I'm happy. Anyway, next stop is LA. So we're gonna do a quick trip in LA. We've got a few things to do in LA, including a Patreon meetup. So that's gonna be super fun. What's up everybody? Just made it to LAX. Just waiting for Jamie now. I've just got my bag and uh, I'm so excited to see him. It's been so long. Um, so he's landing like pretty much right now. So he's got to go through customs and then get his bag. So we'll go meet him outside. Let's go. He just said they've stopped him. That's not good. What does that mean? Get sent back to Australia or what? Waited an hour and a half at the airport for Jamie and he was still in the old side room. So we decided I should just go. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. <laughs> he made it. They wanted my like my flight out of here, which I showed at the other end in Australia. When I got here, the internet wasn't fast enough, so it wouldn't download my ticket and all that, and the lady just started going off. It took me about four hours before I got to the hotel. I do one of these. Oh, so this yeah. is Jimmy. It's his boat that he's generously yeah. taking us out on. Parlay oh, shirt on. Yeah. It's gonna be easy. Yeah. yeah John. John, nice to meet you. How's it going? Yeah. Colin, Colin. Nice to meet you. Nice boat, man. Like being at home, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just I like home. Uh, thank you guys. You guys are the most generous people in our lives. Uh, we can't do what we do without you guys. And uh, it just it means the world to us to have you guys supporting us. Um, it's hard to put into words how we are able to do what we do because of you guys. But uh, we're just so, so grateful. All right, so um, we are all going to do a shot of limoncello together. <laughs> we're so blessed to have people come on board. We're blessed to live the life that we do. We're here, obviously, with Parlay. This is one of the one of the dreams, actually, to have Colin on the boat and have Jamie on the boat. So guys, cheers to both you guys, to what you guys do, the people you inspire, and in 20 years. <laughs> all disappointed by the things you didn't, you didn't do, do. and by the things you did. Cheers to everybody. We're so lucky to be doing this. If we didn't have this boat, we'd be just at a bar somewhere hanging out, which is cool, but this is so much more intimate and incredible. They just, they've been amazing hosts so far. Oh, shit! And just like that, we hoisted the sails and headed off along the coast of Long Beach. I am always so touched by the hospitality and camaraderie of our patrons, not only towards us, but also to each other. These people inspire me to be a better person, a better content creator, and to push myself to follow my dreams and share the adventure with all of you. I just feel so damn lucky to be supported by such incredible souls. 